Yeah, hey, this is Brian's Bee Yard, and uh, I got a couple of uh, splits I did about a month ago. I actually, I made five splits and put them in two frame mating nukes and left them too close to my main beehives. I didn't think they would rob them with the flow on, but they did. So I left two nukes with not more than a couple egg uh, queen cells each in them. And so I put them all together. I made five into two five frame nukes. And this is what we're checking here. Okay, so here's my uh, first nuke, the pink one. And yes, I know that bees don't see the color red, so maybe it appears a grayish color to them. But I set this up so I can uh, differentiate between the nukes. And some colors are good colors for bees, and some I just had to make do with what I had. So anyway, I'm gonna pull this first frame off from the side. And I got a lot of faith in this one as being with the queen and being queen right because I had um, lots of bees flying in and out going for the pollen. These are all drawn out. And here's a frame with a bunch of pollen on it. I'm looking for eggs. I see no signs of eggs on this frame. Because that was an outside frame. So here we go. Second frame in. Second frame in, I see a lot of nectar. A little bit of comb hanging down. We started, no signs of eggs. these hives turn out queenless, then I'm gonna uh, pull a frame of larva and eggs and such and swap one of these frames out. So this one's drawn, comb off the bottom and I see eggs. So I don't know if we can see it on the camera or not. So this is the queen right hive. It's got eggs in the bottom of the cells. I see eggs laying down there, nothing capped yet. So this has been exactly one month. There's the queen. I got the queen right here. We can see it on the camera. I'll point her out, she's at the end of my frame grabber. We have a queen right hive and here's a caramel colored queen. Very nice. So right now, I'm going to put this down and go ahead and I'm going to start transferring these girls into a eight frame hive body. So I'll pause the camera. Okay, got my eight frame set up with the date ant bo um, uh, bottom on it and I'm going to set the first frame end, it had nothing going on, except a little bit of pollen. And then on my second frame, which had nectar. And I'm most likely gonna just end up discarding the cone that they drew on the bottom, the real delicate. And I'm going to be I'm transferring this hive over to another area.
think I'm gonna leave the queen bee as far as marking her now. And I got two queen cups, um, four queen cups on the bottom of this thing. It's like they're getting ready to do something. <laughs> they're just getting established. Maybe the bees were just being ready in case they, uh, they didn't like us, queen. And my hive tool. So I'm gonna point out the queen again. Just make sure we got her on camera. Right there at the edge of my hive tool. Very calm. I'm really happy with the way these bees are acting right now. Of course, with a smaller hive, they usually start out that way. And then if they're gonna be more uh, defensive, we won't use the A word, which is aggressive, then they, um, they tend to get that way later on. So here's another, here's another frame with comb drawn on the bottom. I see lots of larvae, different stages, eggs. I love this black foundation. It makes it real easy to see what's going on. And we're going to take this bottom piece off. It's a shame I have to waste this, but said I could reuse it if I wanted to. They're gonna get a little wild up, just a little bit. So I'm cutting up their cone. I'm sure that's full of eggs and such too. So I might wanna save that piece. I could always add it into a Another hive, and I can't make out whether there's eggs in here or not. There was all over the rest of the foundation. I think I see eggs down in there, but it's hard for me to make out on this yellow cone. Yet yeah, I can see eggs on this. All right, so we're gonna set this down. Try not to squish these. All right, and then here's the last frame, which also. drawn out comb on the bottom. Tons of pollen. They're using this for stores. And this comb is so fragile it's wanting to fall off without me doing anything, just tilting it to the side, which I'm all right with. Here's another one. Now that's five frames, so I'm gonna add three to it. And I think what I'm gonna do is use some of this plastic foundation, because they tend to draw out drone brood. It's open, and this is gonna be my brood chamber, so I don't want drone brood in the brood chamber at this time. Some more of that black foundation, plastic foundation. I had a lot of luck with it. Like I say, it's easier for me to spot the bees. I have good vision, clear vision. I guess if I had a flashlight or something to shine down in it, it would help. But... Okay, back from setting up from my last hive check, which, you know, we're one for two so far. And I'm just seeing 
beads of pollen going in this one, so hopes are high. I haven't seen as many as the other one, but that's one good indicator that there's a queen present, is there's pollen going in. So let's dive in. Okay, here's a deep, with nothing at all in it, old pollen. It's pretty much no good, needs to be cleaned out. Another side, not being used. I'd like to cycle out from my deeps and use just mediums on my hives. this will be one so here I'm seeing pollen and nectar no eggs on that side nothing at all on this side this is a nice clean medium foundation black so it's easy to see If there's anything going on, I expect it to be in these next two frames. And I have larva. I have larva. Let's look out for this queen. Different levels of development. Larva on this side also. Having trouble seeing the eggs. I believe I'm looking at some. Just, when these queens start out, a lot of times they're real slow. But I don't know if it's, the larva is showing up. If you can spot it right up to the upper part. And this one's got queen cups on the bottom. Cap larva, actually which is a real good indicator. All right, we're gonna set this down inside. Let me look back for the queen again. So these were supersedure cells. And um, typically the queens aren't as good on supersedure cells. And I didn't really have a lot to choose from as far as which queens I left to grow up to maturity. These, uh, okay, bunch of larva, eggs. I see single eggs, which is showing that, yes, this is all, I mean, it, well, I obviously have a queen in this one, so we're two for two. It'd be nice if I could spot her. So these girls are going to move up to an eight frame medium today also. So they got queen cells. Queen cups in the middle of these frames. They might not be quite happy with this queen and are getting ready to supersede her. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Eggs and larvae on this side. Seems like she's doing good. Look at the last frame and then I'll start transferring these girls over.
here's some cells that I believe were from when I initially put this in that didn't quite work out. I see some shriveled up. They're still cat, they kind of opening. Look, let's see what's going on inside there, but they haven't cleaned it out yet. There's pollen and nectar on that side. Okay, this is looking pretty good. A little slower developing than the other hive, but I'm gonna go ahead and go pick up another one of my eight frame mediums and we're gonna transfer these girls over. Okay, so I got my eight frame medium set up on my date ant screen bottom board, which this one also is a uh, you can put oil in a plastic tray. And I'm transferring these ladies. Over to the eight frame from my plywood nuke. Now I got these uh, nuke plans from B source. They're real easy to make. Anybody with a table saw can make them. And uh, if you have need of a nuke, or you project you will need a nuke, which everybody needs a nuke sometime in their life. <laughs> I needed it my first year of beekeeping. I'm on my third year now. I have about 16 hives. I started doing splits in my first year. It turned out I overfed them and they decided things were so good that they wanted to go ahead and uh, reproduce. So honeybees, when they reproduce, the old queen typically, not always, but typically will fly out the hive with half to 60%, 40 to 60% of the bees after they've eaten their fill of honey and will leave a uh, queen cell for them to uh, make a queen out of so that the, the hive that they're pretty much abandoning so that the hive that they're leaving will have a way to have a queen. So we're setting these girls up. I have a smaller population in here than the other hive. I don't know why that is so. I'm thinking maybe the queen is just not as good and they're making queen cups wanting to um, supersede her. So I'm just gonna let that go for now. The other hive, I'm gonna probably end up moving over to my bee, um, where I keep my, most of my bees, either that or out yard. Out yard might be a better plan. And then, um, you know, I'll move some more uh, queen breeders over here so I can get some queen breeding going on. I got a bunch of older queens I want to I replace. So that's it for now. Thank you.